2023 Dodge Hornet GT. It has 268 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, a 9-speed automatic transmission, and it's Dodge's first all-new compact crossover in quite some time. The Dodge Camp claims that it's fun to drive, with great driving dynamics, and that it's comfortable in just about any automotive environment. Based on that claim, we're going to put it to the test by taking a stock Hornet, modifying the hell out of it, and then putting it through all the abuse we think it can handle. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to follow us on this massive journey with the brand new 2023 Dodge Hornet? All right then, let's go. I need to say this right out of the gate. The 2023 Dodge Hornet GT is really better than I ever thought it would be. It's one of those vehicles that comes out and then when you drive it, all of a sudden you're very pleasantly surprised. You see, most small compact crossovers are, are just that. They're kind of soulless, kind of lacking in personality, and more importantly, they're lacking in any type of grunt. But this is a Dodge. And when you're the company that invented the Hemi, that invented the 5.7, the 392, the Hellcat, the Red Eye, the Demon, and you're just the purveyors of horsepower and speed, you can't make something that's not fun, fast, and has a little carnival ride built into it, if you understand what I'm saying. Dodge touts the Hornet as a vehicle that could basically do just about everything, right? It's fun to drive, it handles great, you can take it to the store, take the kids to the school, use it as your daily driver, your road tripper. We're here to tell you if it can do that and how well it does that. Now, over the course of this series, you are going to see this thing go through a massive transformation. We're taking it right now in stock form because we want to tell you what it's actually like to drive as it came from the factory. And I have to be honest, it's pretty damn good. In fact, it's a little more than pretty damn good. It's actually a hell of a lot of fun. So when you think of small crossover, you might be thinking of something that is a little lackluster in personality and something that's really not that fun to drive. However, this is a Dodge. And when you put your foot down, this thing drops a couple of gears and it pulls and it pulls and it pulls. You see, under the hood is the new two liter Hurricane inline four, and it pumps out 268 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 is in around the six, eh, six and a half second range, and it feels that way. When you talk about kind of the butt dyno and what it tells you speed feels like, that's pretty consistent. So it puts that power down to the pavement via a nine speed transmission with kind of a select shift. If I want to punch it down a gear, I push the stick forward, it drops it down. If I want to put one gear back up, I click it back, pops it back up. The nice part is when you put it in manual mode, it will hold the gear all the way to redline, which just makes the vehicle more engaging and more fun, especially if you're on a nice tight twisty back road and you want to play with the revs. When it comes to driving dynamics and handling, this thing is an absolute hoot. The Hornet GT, and again, this is kind of the base model, is very surprising. I'll take it, pitch it into a corner, and we're moving at a pretty good pace right here. What you find is that it's very, very sure-footed and it's confidence-inspiring. Going through the corner is met with nothing except confidence, which I like. The all-wheel drive system is completely seamless. You have no idea this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, but the nice part is it will add torque or detract to each wheel depending on what the conditions are, if it's rain or if it's snow or what have you, or if it's loose gravel or dirt. Again, a seamless system that provides nothing but confidence, but the fun part is the handling. I never would have thought that a little crossover would have handled like this and the cool part is it really blurs the line between little family hauler and hot hatch. That's something I wasn't expecting. But the cool part is it works directly in line with what we have in mind for the Hornet in this project. We're bringing in some people you've met before. We're going to be teaming up with Neil Chin, who helped us design our project Rampart Hellcat Durango that we built last year. We're also teaming up with Kevin Wesley of Wesley Motorsports. He just likes to make stuff go fast, and we like that. Because even though the Hornet is really quick, not a bad idea to have anything, you know, have something that's a little quicker. That aside, we're also teaming up with Dodge and Direct Connection, DC Performance. They've got a melange of things that we're gonna throw at this thing to help it get up and boogie a little quicker. And we're gonna be taking it to an event that is going to prove that to you. 
as far as using the Hornet as an everyday driver, I, I gotta be perfectly honest with you, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, we've been driving this thing for a while and it does nothing but surprise and impress. Now, part of that is due to the technology. We've got a great Uconnect 5 system in here and it is by far the best generation. It has evolved to a point where not only is it super intuitive to use like the older systems, but there's new technology in it. One of the things that I really like is the voice command. I can hit my button on the steering wheel. Can you lower the air conditioning? Cooler. That's right, cooler. See, Dodge knew exactly what to make this thing say to impress you. Going through the Uconnect system also allows you access to every facet of the vehicle, whether it's your HVAC system, your audio system, or just vehicle settings. Again, super easy to get to, very relatable, very easy to figure out. The other part is it's got, you know, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It also has a wireless charger when you lay your phone down. They've gone through great pains to make this a very easy vehicle to use and adapt to, while at the same time still keeping it really fun. The other thing we want to talk about is price. You know, at $29,995, it is the, the quickest, best handling kind of compact SUV for the segment at that price point. And it really is. I mean, you're getting a, a massive amount of vehicle here. Sport mode sharpens the steering, adjusts your shift points, and really improves vehicle dynamics. When it comes to braking, jumping on the binders, pretty damn good. And this is the base model. If you want even more performance, you can opt for the track pack, which is gonna give you 20 inch wheels wrapped in Michelin tires with a big old set of Brembo brakes up front. From a styling perspective, the Hornet is pretty sleek and, and pretty damn sporty. Plus, as a hatchback, you gain so much more usability than you would over something like a sedan. When we're talking about the interior, it's actually a really nice place to be. I'm a bigger guy, I'm 6'4", about 245, and I'm very comfortable in here. I've got loads of headroom, I've got loads of arm room. My legs are, have plenty of room, they're not really butting up against anything. As far as seating goes, the leather-covered sports seats are great. I'm not being thrown around, and that's exactly what you want them to do. The dash is very, very clean. Huge digital dash, plus a 10.2 inch touchscreen over here. Now, this is going to seem like a very minute detail, but it makes a difference. The center screen right here is canted seven degrees inward towards the driver. While that doesn't seem like a big deal, it is because it's the exact same height as the speedometer and as your original gauge cluster. So you're not really losing anything by adjusting your eyes. You're not looking down, you're not looking up. It's exactly where your eye line is. And that does make a difference when you're driving, especially when you're looking to kind of change the HVAC controls or the climate or getting to your vehicle settings. As far as safety features, Dodge has you covered there as well. Simply go into your Uconnect system and you can go through every single safety feature the vehicle has to offer and adjust them to your liking. One thing about Dodge, they know their customers and they know that they're gonna to wanna to personalize their vehicle. To help that come to fruition, they've got direct connection. Now you can go to DC Performance and you can choose a melange of different parts that you can go to your dealer, have them dealer installed, up the performance of your vehicle and you're not gonna void your warranty. And that's the best thing. Get a little more speed, a little more performance and everything from the warranty perspective stays fully intact. Now that I've told you what the Hornet is like to actually live with and drive and how the performance is, it's time to toss the keys to Kevin Wesley at Wesley Motorsports so we can move on to the next stage of the build. Wesley Motorsports in Lansing, Michigan knows performance. This is because founder and racer Kevin Wesley has built and run everything from classic Dodge muscle to running up Pikes Peak in Vipers, Challengers, and Chargers. His shop is a candy store filled with Mopar goodness, both new and old, and if you hang out here long enough, the odds of you giving him something to build for you is pretty damn good. What's going on, dude? Hey, not much. What's going on with you? It's good to see you. Dude, every time I come in here, you got something else crazier and crazier. Yeah, well, we like to collect things. Jesus, I'll say. <laughs> My God. It's just like a virtual feast for the eyes. From road racing and autocrossing to trackside drag pack support and car setup, the team at Wesley Motorsports is where you go when it comes time to push the envelope. Therefore, it made perfect sense for us to bring the team our new Hornet project to see if they can unlock any untapped potential and get it ready for our first performance outing. The Dodge Hornet is actually a really good package. They needed a small car again. It makes really good horsepower. The couple variants that they have right now really look interesting, so we're actually excited to get our hands on one. Dodge is our primary supporter for most of our stuff. I've been a diehard Mopar lover for the last 30 plus years of my driving existence, and 
it just works for us so we continue down that path and we have a great relationship with Dodge and we just love to add to that relationship. We're preparing the Hornet just to make it faster, but really we're also preparing the Hornet to take it to Roadkill Nights, which is in August. We wanna see who we can take down with our little compact SUV and really shame some of the big V8 cars. After we've had the Hornet for a while, making some good horsepower, we're then gonna turn our attention to handling. We're gonna lower it, put some really big wheels and tires on it, really make it handle well, and really show that the power can be put to the pavement and really turn some corners with the best in class compact SUVs. After we're done kicking it up a notch, we're gonna hand it off to Musto and he's really gonna make it shine. Now that we've told you guys how great this thing is to drive straight off the showroom floor, it's time for us to shift gears and concentrate on building the one behind us into the greatest Hornet the world has ever seen. Hit that like and subscribe button because this is a build series you won't want to miss. Hornet, a swarm of one featuring the all new 2023 Dodge Hornet.